There's one. Let it sink to the bottom. And then just started, I, got, I turned two cranks of the reel and wham. Oh, is that cool looking. This clear Canadian water, you can, it's stained, but man, you can see him a long way. I think he liked the war pig. I always say, whenever you go on a trip, make sure you ask about colors, certain lures, because each lake is so different. Come here, buddy. And there's a laker. And they'll get all fiery in the in the fall. Right on, right on. There's one. Got him. Hey, that's a trout. Yep. Right off that reef. He was close, huh? Yeah, he hammered it right. Right, must have when it come up the side of the boat. Easy does it, fella. That's him burping. This uh, little fin right here is an adipose fin. That tells you that the fish can burp. Doesn't get the bends when it comes up from the depths. Let's get him back in the lake before I fall in myself. There you go. Laker. Right on. I think you found the... Yeah, I was all around it. He hit hard. You know, one of the ni nice things about your lake system, Paul, is uh, the variety that you have. I mean, we got a windy day today, and because the lake system is, well, it's a river system more than anything, and because it's so narrow, you can pretty much duck out of the wind no matter where you're, where you are, or depending from where it's coming from, right? You, you might have to travel a little bit to, to cross some windier sections, but it's never that bad, and then uh, there's always places to get out of the wind. It's, it's a great lake that way, for sure. And really your structure is everything from rock to weeds to wood. Drop-offs, humps, you name it, saddles, it's all here. That was a long cast, that's a long way out there. <laughs> I'll move you towards deeper water. Oh yeah. Saw my net. There he goes, he jumped right into that. <laughs> Boy, they fight hard, huh? They are. Bulldogs. Mind if I get a photo with this guy? No, absolutely. Back to the depths. So we spent the morning on the main lake, and now we're going to take a quick portage. we got some cloud cover coming up. It looks like it's going to shape up for a great walleye afternoon. So we're going to take a quick portage into one of Woman River's portage lakes, 11 portage lakes, and see what we can find. Need a net? Sure, if you want. A nut job? Oh, yes. It's not the 26 they're talking about, but it's a nice fish. Yep. Hang on, buddy. Let me pose you for the camera here. Let me show the people at home what we're doing. And that's just a start. You like the net? Um, I think I'll flip them in or... Or, or try and hand land them anyway. Come here, beautiful. Got them on a ripple shad. Little ripple shad with a little Kalen's hook. Beautiful fish. Now you say some of your portages are catch and release only? Yes. It all depends on the size of the lake. <laughs> I just pounded it. All right. I don't know if that's a walleye, but I should be bit off by now if it wasn't. A pike on my Yozuri. 
Well, you know what, Paul? I think it's getting a little late. Why don't we head back to uh, Woman River for dinner? Good idea. We don't want to get caught out here in the darkness. But you know, folks, when you come up to Canada, make sure you take advantage of all the opportunities. Enjoy, take full advantage of all the, the extras that that camp offers. Outposts and Portage Lakes, in addition to just enjoying the outdoors. Take a look around you when you come up here. There's a lot of nice scenery. But I want to thank Paul and Debbie from Woman River Camp for hosting us. And if you want more information, just check them out at womanriver.com. I'm Larry Ladowski from Midwest Outdoors. We'll catch you later. <laughs>